Hey everyone, we're here with uh, John Craddock. Hello again. Hello again. Hi. Thanks for coming. You've had a quite a long day today, haven't you? Yeah, it was a little bit of a marathon of five hours of, uh, I think, fairly deep uh, technical yep. ADFS and all things claims and SAML and all the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. So you had an entire one day seminar here at Tech Days. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. And, and your topic was federation, federated identity, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, what's the, can you, with that, very briefly, What's all it, what's it, what's it all about? Well, I mean, I think I think uh, easiest way of sort of looking at it is people have come to expect single sign-on. So if you've got mm. you've got applications running within yeah. your Active Directory, single sign-on. Yeah. How do you do it? Mm. Probably using uh, Kerberos. Yeah. And Kerberos token is sort of this great lump of information, mm. but it's only your user name mm. or your user SID, yeah. plus all the groups you belong to. Yeah. And you throw this at an application and say, there you are, log yeah. me in using Kerberos. And the poor application says, actually, all I want to know is your age. Mm. And then the application developers have to go off, access a SQL database or, or Active Directory or some LDAP store as to where the information is stored mm. and, and pull it back. So what claims-based authentication will do for you yeah. is it will allow you to get that single sign-on experience whether the application is running on-premise or it's running in the cloud or it's running in a partner application mm. and it also allows you to craft a token which contains information about the user um, on a per application basis so if an application needs mm. to know someone's age that can be added to the token yeah. so that the application developer doesn't have to go off and access some other store mm. so Great advantages. Doesn't, you can authenticate to an app. Doesn't matter where the app is. We use the same authentication yeah. mechanism. So this makes the life of the IT pro or the everyday of the IT pro easier, basically. Yeah. Well, it certainly does as soon as we start adapting yeah. sort of cloud technologies. But exactly. it, abstra it abstracts the authentication mm. and the authorization mechanism from from the application. It sort of sits now as a framework, yeah. and it's using the the WIF. Um, or you know, it's um, Dub Dub IF, yeah. Windows, Ident of, Windows Identity Foundation. A lot of hard words, yeah. Words, sure. uh, for people uh, who unfortunately couldn't come to your sessions today, do, would you have any recommendations of places to you know start to explore this subject? Yeah, I mean, there's this um, probably one of the best places is uh, is if you have a look at the ADFS v2 guides on TechNet. Yeah. There's lots of step by steps, mm. but. I mean, it, it, if you if you do a, a Bing or something, a Bing search, and you 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 know type in ADFS yeah. V2 as in version two, a step by step, you'll find lots of guides up there. Yeah, great. So uh, thank you for for coming. Well, and thank you for asking me again to Norway. It's, yeah, it's, as always, I, I love it. Yeah, I hope great to place. see you here again. Yeah. Okay. Thank Thanks a lot.